I cut some logs to lumber recently in my bandsaw and found some worms and bugs still alive. So to kill them, I built this temporary oven in my shop to heat sterilize the wood. I'll go over how I did it, temperatures, heating times, the whole process. I'm using a single 4x8 sheet of 1.5 inch thick rigid foam insulation. My objective is to use the entire sheet to build the largest box I can get. First cutting the top and bottom pieces to 27 inches wide so the box will be 27 inches by 48 inches and then I cut the remaining section into three equal pieces which works out to be 14 inches. Two of these become the sides of the box and the third one is cut in half for each of the ends. The insulation itself is rigid enough, no need to frame it up with wood or anything and I'm taping up all of the seams just to seal it up best as possible. I don't think it really matters much what kind of tape to use, but I have some of this stuff left over from a ductwork project that I did a while back. And for the top, I only put tape along one edge to act as a hinge so that I can easily open and close the lid. Taping up the whole lid would definitely seal it up better, but I wanted to get in and out easily just to do several batches of wood. And also just in case something goes wrong, I want quick and easy access to get into the box if needed. So then I just load the wood in. I've already stacked and stickered it so it'll help with the air circulation and heat up more quickly. The current international standard for heat sterilization of solid wood requires that you heat up the internal temperature of the wood to 133 degrees F and hold it for 30 minutes. But that's the internal temperature. The heating chamber that it's in needs to be quite a bit hotter than that and held for a longer period of time. 160 degrees is a common temperature for the heating chamber, but for me and my wood shop, it feels like a little bit lower temperature and I can hold it for a longer time and be a little bit safer and a little easier to achieve. The USDA has published a lot of good information on heating times and temperatures. I'll leave a link below to this particular research study, which contains this really useful reference table, help you determine how long you need to heat based on what temperature your heating chamber is at. So for my situation, the size of the wood is about 2 inches by 4 inches. I'll heat it up to 140 degrees F minimum, starting at an ambient temperature of about 70 degrees F. So the table tells me it'll take 59 minutes or about an hour to get the internal wood temperature to 133 degrees F. And then I need to hold it there for at least another 30 minutes, so an hour and a half total. I think I'll double it just to be safe and shoot for 3 hours at 140 degrees F. I'm going to use this space heater as the heating source and my first try was with this little low budget one that I had around the house, but it didn't work. The over temperature protection cut in at about 100 degrees F, not even close to the temperature I needed. So I got this one that has a much higher overheat protection setting. It'll allow me to get the temperature up to over 140 degrees F. And also what I like about it is when the overheat protection does kick in, at least the fan keeps running. On the low budget one, when it reached its overheat, it shut down the whole heater, fan, and everything. I found that setting it on the low heat setting helps prevent the over temperature protection on the heater from cutting in as frequently. So I just placed the thermostat temperature probe somewhere about the center and closed the top. Just a couple of pieces of tape holds it down and yeah, some heat will escape the seam, but fine, it'll still get hot inside. I'm making use of this inexpensive thermostat controller. The way it works is that it measures the temperature in the heating chamber and if it's below the set point temperature, then it supplies power to the heater. And when it reaches the set point temperature, it'll turn the heater off and just cycle on and off to maintain the temperature. I'll leave a link below for this thermostat as well as a specific space heater that I found that'll work above 140 degrees F. I set the thermostat at 145 degrees just to give me 5 degrees of buffer above the 140 degrees that I was looking to achieve. It only took about 15 minutes for the temperature to reach 140 degrees, then I let it go for about 3 hours. As I watched it, it was interesting that sometimes the space heater's internal overheat protection thermostat would regulate the temperature just below 145 degrees, and sometimes this thermostat would take over. So probably I could have gotten away without even using this thermostat and just let the heater do its thing, but I guess I did feel a little bit safer having the thermostat just as an extra safeguard. 
I had a bit more wood than could fit all at once, so after it cooled down, I removed the first load, then did a second load and let it run for another three hours. It worked great. Thanks so much for watching.